Yeah, police, firefighters, and inspectional services, they are still here on the scene along with this tow truck that is now removing that white Toyota SUV that was stuck into that brick wall. This is at Grove Street and Myrtle Street. Uh, crews for a while were trying to see whether or not that brick wall or the building itself were, in fact, structurally sound. Let's take a look at some video that we shot earlier. Police say people in the car were taken to the hospital, non-serious injuries. Witnesses that we talked to saw that car speeding up Grove. It did not appear to take any breaks, slammed into that wall. Two people, again, were inside, a male driver, a wooden passenger. The man got out on his own, but the woman appeared stuck inside. Take a listen to what one witness described happened. The guy got out before the ambulance and everybody even came. He got out and uh, wobbled a little bit and another pedestrian had put him, you know, sat him on the ground. I'm just surprised that they, that they survived because that, listen, that was, they was going fast. 70 miles an hour coming from down that end. Now, the entire front end of that vehicle was underneath that pile of bricks. So as this tow truck uh, removes that vehicle, of course, they have to do it gingerly to make sure uh, that that pile of bricks doesn't come tumbling down. Of course, this area is going to remain closed while police continue to investigate. We're live in Beacon Hill. Sean Shai about WCVB News Center 5.